Hello and welcome back to Sheaf Math. In today's lesson, we are going to learn how to solve equations with variables on both sides. Now, what exactly does variables on both sides mean? Well, this is a typical equation that has variables on both sides. Normally, when you're learning how to solve for equations, the x is on one side or the other. But now we've got x's on both. So that poses a problem. So what we need to do is we need to get the x is on one side. And how do we do that? Well, we know how to add two things on both sides. We know how to subtract things, multiply on both sides. And so what we're going to do is we are going to take this 5x and we're going to get rid of it. Well, how do we get it rid of it uh, mathematically? We're going to subtract 5x on both sides. By doing that, we cancel that 5x out. And now 7x minus 5x is 2x minus 3, and we're left with 13 on the right. Now we have a two-step equation. We're going to add 3 on both sides, giving us 2x equals 16. We're going to undo that multiplying 2 by dividing 2, so we can cancel that out, and we are left with x equals 8. And there it is. Here is another one. Let's do a few more examples. Now, one of the things that I tell my students, the way I teach it, um, is that I tell them to get the x's on the left side always. Now, some teachers teach it differently, and that's perfectly fine. But in our classroom, we're all doing the same thing, and we can identify from each other's paper exactly where we went wrong. So it works either way. You can put them on the right side or the left side. You'll still get the same answer. But I'm going to get them, get them to the left side. So I'm going to take care of that right side x, 6x. And so I'm going to subtract 6x on both sides. And then so I can cancel it out. And I am left with a negative 4x plus 7 equals negative 17. Now my two-step equation, I undo that plus 7 by subtracting it. And I get negative 4x equals negative 24. I divide by a negative 4 to cancel that multiplying negative 4, and I get x equals 6. Not too bad. All right, sometimes equations look different than the ones that you've practiced, and so we're going to try to go through all sorts of different variations of it. The only difference between this one and the others is that there's no uh, integer on the left-hand side adding or subtracting from the 5x. But that's okay. We're still going to do the same thing that we do. We want the x's on the left. So we're going to subtract 2x on both sides, canceling that out, and I get 3x equals 21. Now I only have one step to do, so this was actually easier. I'm going to divide by 3, and I get x equals 7. Not too bad, right? All right, here's another one that you come across. Now you got to stick with me as far as doing the same steps that we do. We want the x's on the left, and so we're going to get rid of that minus 2x by doing the opposite, which is add 2x, and that cancels it out. Well, what happens to the right side if you don't have anything? Well, you have a 0. There's nothing wrong with having a 0. If you get rid of everything, you end up with 0. Now we're going to do our two-step equation. We add 30 to both sides. And we're left with 6x equals 30. We divide by 6, and we get x equals 5. It's the same process every time. We haven't changed anything. We're not doing diff anything differently. All right, now I'm going to give you some tricky ones, or ones that just uh, have a few extra steps in them. So this first one, what is different about this one? Well, if you notice, on the left-hand side, there are two integers. And when you have two integers, you need to combine them. They're like terms. And so negative 2 plus 8 is positive 6. And so we end up with negative 7x plus 6 equals negative 3x minus 22. Did you see how I did that? Now we're back to our normal um, variables on both sides. So we're going to get the x's on the left. So we take care of that minus 3x, cancel it out, and we end up with negative 4x 
plus 6 equals negative 22. Then we subtract 6, leaving us negative 4x equals negative 28. We then divide by negative 4, and we end up with x equals positive 7. Not bad, huh? All right, this one has a parentheses in it, and so we're going to have to do a distributive property before we can attack the problem. So we're going to distribute that 2 to both of those numbers in the parentheses, and so it'll be 2 times x and 2 times 4, which is 2x plus 8 equals 8x plus 20. And so here we go again. We're back at the starting point, and so we subtract 8x on both sides, leaving us negative 6x plus 8 equals 20. We subtract 8 on both sides, canceling those out, left with negative 6x equals 12. We divide by negative 6, and we get x equals negative 2. There it is. Well, I hope you uh, learned quite a bit from this. You just learned how to solve equations with variables on both sides. I want to just reiterate how important it is to uh, do the same process every time. You will get the right answer. Um, the more little variations and tricks you try to put into it or differences, you're going to get confused. Just do the same thing every time. All right, well, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.